Hey guys, and welcome back to The Family Fudge. Today I'm gonna to share with you what's new at the Dollar Tree in the month of August, and that includes lots and lots of cute fall decor. So stay tuned. Before we get started, if you haven't already, I would love it if you would hit that red subscribe button and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you like Dollar Tree Shop With Me's. Now, you guys, I wasn't sure that this Dollar Tree would even have fall decor items yet, but I was super excited to find so many at this Dollar Tree. This is definitely one of the biggest Dollar Trees I'd ever been to. And you guys, it was fully stocked. They had all of the fall decor items. None of them were sold out and I was there early in the morning. So it wasn't crowded either. If you love decorating with pumpkins, the Dollar Tree is a good place to go. They had so many different colors and varieties, ones with words on them, lots of different colors with gold accents. They also have some really shiny gold ones, some that are more speckly, I like that one. Shiny orange ones, sort of a classic style. I always get a big kick out of the little bobblehead statues. I think they're really cute, yet I don't usually buy them. They also had lots of fall leaves. This kind, there was also some felt leaves, perfect for crafting. Out of all of the leaves, the burlap ones were definitely my favorite. I think these are really rustic and cute at the same time. In the same crafting area, they also had lots and lots of fall ribbon and decorative mesh. Perfect if you want to make your own wreath, which I'm actually hoping to do this year. It's kind of new for me though. Also, if you're interested in making a wreath or a flower arrangement or some kind of decorative arrangement, they also have these really cute pumpkins. They're on clips and they came in several different colors. They also had these really cute bows. It's sort of like a stiff burlap with glitter on them. You get two for a dollar. My kids love these foam craft kits and right now they have a cornucopia and a turkey. They also have lots of this decorative mesh tube in lots of different colors, but I'm not exactly sure what you would do with this, maybe in a wreath, but if you guys know, let me know in the comments down below. They also had wreath hangers in the new fall colors and of course a wreath form. I definitely wanted to pick up one of those. And check out these you guys. This comes with three metal words for just a dollar. Thankful, harvest, and welcome. These would be perfect for adding to all kinds of crafts. I also found lots of glitter pumpkins. These are the same ones that they had last year. And I found even more decorative mesh. And this one comes with lots of different colors all in one roll. Now, I don't remember seeing these at the Dollar Tree last year, but I do think they are super cute. Definitely one of my favorite items this year. One of them says, Welcome Friends, and the other one says, Hello Fall, and there's a little bit of glitter in there. If you're looking for scarecrows, the Dollar Tree definitely has lots to choose from. They also have these really cute little owls. And some strands of lights that look like leaves. Now these I do remember seeing last year at the Dollar Tree. It's a little pumpkin flower arrangement, pretty cute for just a dollar. These would make cute centerpieces at any fall party or gathering or banquet or something like that. I don't remember seeing these pumpkins last year. They're pretty cute, nice and sparkly. Oh yes, and they also have smaller ribbon as well. These would be perfect if you're trying to tie up bags, like little goodie bags to give out to friends. Oh yes, and like I said, more scarecrows. I also found some paper centerpieces and decorations for a fall party as well. I'm a big fan of these napkins. I love to use them in my themed lunches. And check out these fun salt and pepper shakers. We have a pair of squirrels, a pair of owls, those are my favorite, and the pumpkin ones are really cute too. I'm not sure I'd actually use them, I might just keep them for decor. They also had lots of paper plates and even more napkins. 
Oh yes, and these guys, I remember seeing these last year. These make great candy dishes. Here's some things I remember from last year as well. The Scarecrow Welcome Sign and the Thankful Chalkboard. I definitely picked up one of those. They had so many cute signs this year. This one was from last year. This one was new. I definitely wanted to get one of those. Thankful and blessed with a little metal leaf and glitter. I thought this one was really cute too. I love the gold and the sort of rustic look. And of course, I love the positive sayings on there. I definitely remember seeing these planters last year. There's a sunflower, an owl, and a scarecrow. I also remember seeing these yard signs last year. I think I picked up one of each. They're actually really cute and pretty sturdy. You can stick them right into your lawn. It's a really cute way to dress up your front yard. Next, I found even more cute signs. This Give Thanks one is really large, lots of glitter on there. This one says, Bless Our Home, and it almost looks hand-painted. There's the red truck with a pumpkin. I know my friend Fallon would definitely love this one. She's totally into the red trucks. There's also Welcome Fall. And way up there, Happy Harvest with a Scarecrow. Now these ones definitely look more youthful. I think they're really fun. My kids would love them. There were two different styles of those. Oh yes, and even more cute pumpkins, shiny and burlap. And then just like last year, they also have these large felt shapes and lots of flowers and, and of course, lots of flowers. There are so many to choose from, perfect to make a wreath or an arrangement. I thought these ones were really interesting looking. And these ones are very interesting as well. A little sunflower with a pine cone center. And surprise, they even had a few Halloween items out already, like these purple pumpkins. These polka dot ones are super cute. They also had some glittery spiders, green and orange. And then look at these. They look like Christmas ornaments, but they're totally for Halloween. And there's two that look like eyeballs. Kind of creepy, but kind of cool if you're into Halloween decor. I really think that these spiders are too cute to be scary. They even had a few craft items for the kids. I know mine would love these. There was an owl, a Frankenstein, and they also had these little melty bead kits in a jack-o'-lantern, a ghost, and a witch. And just around the corner, some creepy spiders. Now these ones are actually fuzzy. Ugh, I don't really like those. I bought some of these motion sensor toys for my kids last year and they were super annoying. But I like the Halloween torch. That would be really fun for trick-or-treating. So that was pretty much everything in this main seasonal area. It was really large. I was super impressed. But I wanted to walk around the store and make sure I didn't miss anything. And I did find a few things out of this area, like these guys. And I also found the seasonal candles. I know my friend Fallon from Moss Family TV she says that these are pretty good. They had salted caramel and vanilla bourbon. And I also found a few more pumpkins, like these glittery ones with swirls. And my favorite of all, these really heavy weight resin ones. They had several different colors. I remember buying some of these last year and the white one was definitely my favorite. Now it's time to head on home and I'll show you everything that I picked up. They had so many cute things at the Dollar Tree today, but I tried not to go crazy. And you can probably tell I kind of went for browns, oranges, and white. The first sign that I picked up is the pumpkin with the thankful and blessed on there, but the bow fell off on the way home. That'll be easy to fix though, just a little bit of hot glue. I also picked up the red truck with the pumpkin. This is super cute and it can actually spin. There's like two pieces there. I got two burlap pumpkins. These ones are sort of a soft orange color. 
Last year I bought lots of the white version. And I also got these white pumpkins. These are the heavy duty ones, like I said. But when you're in the store, make sure that the tops aren't broken. A lot of them had broken pieces on them. I also got these white pumpkins to go in a wreath that I'm hoping to make. I like that these have the clips already on there, making it really easy. Oh yes, and I got the wire form for that wreath. I also picked up one package of the three metal signs, the Thankful Harvest and Welcome. And I also got one of the Pumpkin Kisses and Harvest Wishes signs. Now, if I have to guess which Dollar Tree item is most likely to sell out this year, this is probably going to be one of them. It's really cute, very nice for just a dollar. I also stocked up on my decorative napkins. We have Gobble Till You Wobble, Give Thanks, and then this one is a little bit more plain with just some fall leaves. And then I also picked up the Hello Fall sign. I think this looks really nice for just a dollar and I really like that it can stand up on its own. So you can put it just about anywhere around the house. Let me know in the comments down below out of all the items I showed you today, which one was your favorite? Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.